What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 19, got defeated one time, got our payback, and now we're here in uh, Snowbell City, I think, yeah. And off screen, I did buy myself some new clothes, so it's time to, yeah, change the threads because it's a little cold in here, so... Let's go right ahead and uh, see what kind of threads we got right here. Look, okay, so let's see. We can't use a cap. Let's go with something a little snug. We can go knit. We can go camo. Or we can go blue camo. Well, you know what? Let's go blue camo. Okay, and uh, let's go sweaters. Okay, so let's see. Down jacket. Yep, we could probably use that. Down jacket. Um, a hoodie. A v neck. Look at that, we got a, quite a few uh, accessories, right? But you know what? We are in the snow, so it would only be appropriate if we went with a down jacket. Let's go with red, okay? And let's see, the pants. We can go with black pants. I always wanted to wear black pants. And let's see. Hmm. We could go with shoes. Never wear shoes, but then again, we're in the, we're in the whatchamacallit, uh, the, the, the snow. So let's just go ahead and match. Mama always says it's nice to match stuff, and... Uh, well, let's go with the two-tone bag right here. Red. Okay, so we are good. We are looking like, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, like Evatol right here. Look at that. Mm, looking sexy as fuck, you know. Okay. So there it is. Looking all stylish and everything. And look at that. The O-Powers man, or the man, uh, the Mr. Bonding man is here. And, well, we're just gonna... Yeah, I don't need an explanation. Just please give me my bonding time. And look at that, we get PP storage and all that crud. Okay, so let's continue on right here. Snowbell City, full of snow. It is chilly, and there is uh, not a lot of stuff that you can do right here except to this. As you can see, the gym is closed. What's new, Little Blue? If it ain't the future champ. I hate to disappoint, but the gym leader is actually out right now. He said he was off winding, uh, to, to the winding woods if you, li if you like searching. Okay, so that might be our next uh, stop. Now, as you can see, here's a place where you can actually buy some new gifts and all, or new clothes and all that stuff. That's exactly what I did the last episode. We're just going to be checking up on a few spots right here. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, personality, okay. You know what? We're, we're going to see if we can get some items right here. Uh, freeze Pokemon and all that stuff. This place is all about freezing. Let's trade my bite sharp for a Jigglypuff. I think I have a Jigglypuff. Hmm. Let's see. As you can see, guys, I have I I captured multiples of Pokemon mainly because uh, some of uh, some of them are gonna evolve, and then the rest I'm just gonna you know I'm actually going to uh, send over on my Pokemon home. And it doesn't look like I have a Jigglypuff right here. I could be wrong. Huh. Huh. I don't have a Jigglypuff. Okay, so can't help you can't get a Bishop right now, but eventually we will be able to find one somewhere. Somewhere around here. Okay, alrighty. Let's see. Is there anything else that you can actually find here? Oh, there's another house. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go right here. And it doesn't matter whether I go somewhere or not, because as long as I'm with my Pokemon, I'm, I, I can have fun wherever I am. This is true, and let's see, talk to this guy, can your Pokemon use map block? I don't know. So, yeah, like I said, guys, there's not a lot of stuff that you can actually find right here, except just the individual that will trade you uh, for a buy sharp. And there is another house right there that I need to get. Now, if you're going to the Pokemon Center, guys, this is the place you can actually... This is the uh, the place where you can actually find some Pokeballs, too. And for generations, my po my family's duty was to teach moves to Pokemon that people call mythical. I can teach a move Keldeo, uh, a move to Keldeo or Meliota. Do you not have those two Pokemon? Don't know where to get them. Comment down below and help me out, guys. I don't have it, but the thick fat ability weakens the power of Poke Fire and Ice type moves. I told you I don't have it. Well, what about double double thick? You try this. We get ourselves the HM or the TM08 bulk up. And, well, we already know what this is. She's just yelling at me right now. Lissandre. He's my old friend. He was trying to help people in need. Becoming convicted of people's stupidity and facing his own limitations led him to conclude that the world would not be saved. 
which led to his suffering. It's ironic. It is. It is kind of ironic. Don't necessarily care anymore, because he's... I, I don't know whatever happened to him. He's gone. Now, let's go right here, and what are we going to be finding right here? Let's see. Talk to this person. Pokemon don't freeze in harsh sunlight. Now, that is true. Let's see. Talk to this individual. Standing here reminds me of a cold region far away. Would you listen to the first song I composed there? Sure. Oh, thank you. This is that song. Oh, I know where this is. Sinnoh. Can't remember the name of the town, but it's where what's her face is at. Okay. So that's that. I think. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else that you can actually find here. So now we're gonna be going into the next next area right here. Actually, we have to go in here. Visit every house, guys, so I, you can actually get yourself some items. And there's two people standing here. My husband can teach the ultimate moves to certain Pokemon. The Blazing Fire type Pokemon, Charizard type Floresian, Blaziken, Infernape, Imbor, and Delphox. The Restless Water type Pokemon, Blastoise, Feraligatr, Swampert, Empoleon, Samurai, and Greninja. And the, gr the Quiet Grass type Pokemon, Venusaur, Meganium, Sceptile, Torterra, Sep uh, Superior, and Chestnut. Yeah, yeah, let's see. This guy will teach your Pokemon the ultimate moves, which would probably be Blast Burn uh, and such other moves right there. It only works for the starter Pokemon, so won't work for anybody else right there. And, oh, look at that. There's an item. And I need to get that item somehow. So let's see. Uh, advanced Tips. Eevee is a Pokemon with great potential. Try experimenting with uh, many things such as certain locations, times of day, and evolution stones. Yes. They say ah crud. They say that Eevee is the key has the key to evolution since its DNA is so I I, 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 I wouldn't say unstable. I'm just saying oh wow, why am I like sliding up and down? Yeah, it, it's just the key to evolution and all that crud. And uh, well, let's go ahead and grab this item right here. One step. There we go. We found ourselves a full restore which would actually help. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Now we're going to be going into the forest area right here, right? Yes, the forest. Okay, so here we are, Route 20, the Winding Roads. This place right here is filled with a lot of interesting Pokemon. And I this is a place where you need a handbook. Well, where I'm going to be needing a handbook because I do not want to get lost. There's specific areas right here that you can actually go to. Let's see, the Winding Road... Or the Winding Woods. Alrighty. Ah, oh, God, I need to, like, put, like, a... Okay. Where are we? Okay, stop it. Okay, alright, here we go. Snowbell. Okay, because see... Wow. There is a lot of entrances and exits. Oh, crud. Alrighty. So... Maximum effort, I guess? I guess, I don't know. So, let's go right ahead and try and find everything right here. As you can see, here we are in A, and this is the same area that we were just at. Here is the Cassie Berry, and well, let's see. We're gonna find a Paralysis Heal as well, so that's, an all, uh, that's another item that we need. We, we, we kinda don't need, we actually have a full heal and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. Uh, okay, now we have to go to B. Where does B take me? Again, I'm just like looking over this stuff. I actually thought that I was uh, I was gonna get lost here. And crap baskets, here it is. Here is the evolutionary stone. This right here is uh, the surface is covered in moss. Touching it feels good somehow. Now this is where you can actually evolve uh, Eevee into Leafeon once you touch this and then level it up by one level. Now I'm just checking up right here. Where the heck are we? Ah, crap baskets. Um, where are you? Oh, yeah, we just... Uh, okay, so that's one. Okay, never mind. Good God. Now, let's move on right here. Going in this area. And... Let's see. There's two areas right here that I would like to visit. So, we hit B. There's D and C. D would take us to this spot. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, C. Where would C lead me? Huh. Alright, let's try C. See is down here, and uh, well, I, I gotta, uh, I gotta let you guys know. Excuse the lagginess. I don't know what's going on right now. Somebody's using my internet probably. And here we have a metal plate. 
And, uh, well, if we find Arceus, that'd be great. So C has already been covered. And we're going to be attacked by a Pokemon right here. And it looks like a Amoongus. Amoongus. Now, there are some rare Pokemon in here. Um, not a lot of, not a lot of, uh, you know, a lot that you can actually find. Got three is one of them that you can actually find right here. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Repel, because I do not want to get attacked by any one of these Pokemon right here. Eventually, I'm going to have to buy some more Repels. And, well, here we are. And we're going to be finding some opponents. Alrighty, so let's see. Again, sorry for the lagginess. Internet's going off right here. Alright, let's go. We're going to be the toughest twins in the world! We're going to be the toughest twins in the world. Okay, so, crap baskets, here we go. Nana and Nina wants the battle, and Slurpuff and Aromatize is coming out. Alrighty. Godzilla and Goku ready to take this. Okay. Now, I always thought that Aromatize was like a, uh, what was it, a grass-type Pokemon, just by the way it looks, but it's, you know, it's a, it's, it, it's a fairy-type Pokemon, so here we go, Flamethrower. Nearly takes out Aromatize, but here we go. Oh, wow, these Pokemon are, these Pokemon are tough! They are tough, okay. Double trouble. Okay, so, oh, wow, and no, and no Psychic. You don't want that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the same thing over again. Poison jab to you. We're gonna defeat both these guys right here. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see, there we go. We grow a level. And, well, Goku grows level 62. Bonesaw grows level 58, which is great. And, well, let's see. Let's see. Bonesaw already knows four moves. It's learning gu Guillotine. Now, Guillotine is a one-hit uh, KO move. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to teach it because it's very, very inaccurate. And look at this. Here comes the Poison Jab. Oh, yes. Poison Jab for the win. Say goodbye. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And we defeated Nina and Nana. We're looking good. We're looking great. And, well, let's see. So, let's go right ahead and go to F right here. Now, again, there are so many entrances and exits that you might not be able to find anything. But, you know, it, it's it's worth the trip right here. Uh, let's see. We hit F. So, F will lead us to an item close by right here. Plus a, plus a trainer, I think. Yeah, there is a trainer. Okay, so H will take us right here. Let's see. Take a, it will take us right here. And you just need cut. And luckily for us, we do have that cut technique. So let's go ahead and use cut. Alrighty. Okay, so look at that. We finally go through this. And does this guy want to battle us? Look at us. Actually, he's looking the opposite way. Seriously, guy? Let's see. Time to show off our Pokemon. Okay, let's go ahead and show off the Pokemon right now. Alrighty, so let's go. He's coming out with his Dedenne, 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 Can't even say that. And well, let's go ahead and just uh, do the Dedenne with the bulldoze. There we go. Bulldoze attack does its trick. Look at that. Got Jilla 3, level 70 or 67, and we defeated Cory. Alright, so there is. I think, yeah, there's an item right here. And we found ourselves a protein. Definitely a nice item right here. Or you can sell it, you know. Either way, you know, it would actually help out your Pokemon or yourself. So let's go back to where we were. Okay, so we're on. Well, hold on. If only this thing would stay still and all that crud. Uh, let's see. So we are in H, so we go back. Where does that take us? It takes us back right here. And I think I should be going towards the opposite side, but of course I forgot about this girl right here. Let's get it. Fairy tale girl, Wine wants the battle, and she's coming out with her cleft key. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Okay, alright. Here, let's go with the 
flamethrower attack. Look at that. Okay. And what the hell? Oh, crap. Lose the effects. And here we go. Flamethrower attack. Does it? I don't know if uh, Klefki has Sturdy, but that probably would have... Like, if it did have Sturdy, it would have taken that away. And here she comes out... Or here, yeah. She comes out with a uh, Azumarill. So let's go with Goku. Let's get this. Alrighty. So anywho, guys. Look at that. We're getting... We're inching closer and closer to the end of this walkthrough right here. After this one, I believe we're going to be battling some more Pokemon uh, gems. Or just one more gem. And then it, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon League. And from there, it just it, it's, it's history. It is history, guys. And, well, look at that. It started to rain. Let's go with a Poison Jab right here. Oh, look at that. Poison Jab does its trick. Say goodbye to Azumarill. Alrighty, and there we go. Look at that. Okay, okay. Kicking ass, taking names. Alright, so... Let's see. Let's see, we have to get... Uh, let's see, G... Where would G lead us to? G, 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 G. Oh, it's leading us to the next spot right here. Again, sorry if I'm stalling, guys. It's just, uh, it's, it's hilarious. I'm just trying to figure out where to go. G would lead us... Do, do. G. Do, 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 Huh, it would lead us right there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take G. Now, we've already been here, so let's read up on this part right here. Advanced tips. You can check the moves for, uh, for any of your Pokemon right from the inside the PC box. Huh. Well, okay. I, I wish it would have been something more, a little bit more important and all that stuff, but, uh, well, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so that is done. And, yes, we kind of need a new a new repel, so let's go ahead and take that. And we have to go to I now. Or, where the heck is I? Right here. Okay. So, I, right here, would lead us towards this part right here. Okay. And there is a lonely tree right here. You can actually find an item right here, I guess. Let's see. No, there's no item. And this would have to be J. I'm reading the, the, the booklet right here, guys. So, let's see. J, J, J. J would lead us. Ah, look at that. Okay, so it would lead us right here. And there are three different paths right here. Um, Let's see. Let's see. I take KMQ. KMQ. Actually, hold on. KMQ. Um, I do not know why it says KMQ. But I guess... I have to go to the end spot. But we are close to the Pokemon Village. What I kind of want to do first is I kind of want to get to... Let's see, hold on. Let's go on this spot right here. This spot will lead us right here. And we found ourselves a Mental Herb. And, well, that is that right there. And there's no items right here. Now, I think if you go low right here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I see what happened right there. Um, Q, Q, Q. We're in the double... Oh, wait. Oh, so we returned the other way. This spot usually has three different kinds of paths. We kind of need to get to N... So we need to get to M right here. So it has to be down the middle. So this spot right here, you have to go down the middle right here. And actually, that will lead us nowhere. So let's see. Up top. And that, lead us, that leads us back right here. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How do we do this? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Huh. I know what I know. What this is uh, this is leading me towards. Or, hey, hold on just a sec. Oh, crud. Okay. No wonder. Okay, so let's see. No, okay, so this leads us to, the, to, the, to a separate path. If you go up here again and come back down, let's see. It changes direction right here, I think. And, yes, this will actually lead you to the end spot right here. And right at the end spot, this will lead you to this spot right here. So let's go ahead and use another repel. And let's see. 
there are quite a few things that you can actually find right here. So let's go ahead and use cut. See guys, it's actually a good thing to actually have cut on your Pokemon. And this spot will, let's see, this spot will lead us to... <laughs> oh, where would O lead us? Oh, look at that. It would lead us right here to this lady. And that item, my dark magic, along with my Pokemon, cannot be defeated. You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Hex Maniac Desdem Desdemona. Desdemona. That's a good name for a girl right here. Desdemona. Coming out with the, the Trevenant. This Pokemon right here is a kind of a weird looking Pokemon. Looks like a tree. Battles like a good. Alrighty. Here we go. That's right, Flamethrower does its trick. Say goodbye to Trevenant. Oh yes, and there she goes. Dark Magic did not work properly with her, but guess what? It is what it is. Let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves the TM53 Energy Ball. Very, very good move. And well, now let's get the heck out of here. And crap baskets. Again, that right there, it just, uh, yeah, it, it, it did it again. So let's see, where are we? So we have to go up up top right here. So I'm starting to get it. I really am. So go up right here. And here we are. Going back down to N. There is a uh, there is a little something here that you can actually find too. And let's go up top. And let's see. I'm pretty sure you could find some hidden items right here. I don't even know. Here we go. Found ourselves the X accuracy. And well, let's see. If there's anything else that we could find right here, maybe, I don't know, probably. There we go, we found ourselves a ball mushroom. Do not know what that is. And, uh, let's see, there's nothing else right here. Yep, nothing else right here. So now it's finally time to get the heck out of here. Um, let's see. Where would we go? Alright, let's go back to N. And let's see. So here we are back at where we were. And if we go right here, I think it will lead us back to the original path that we were supposed to go to, which is true. Look at that. Nobody ever notices this uh, this particular spot right here. So here we are going towards the exit. And look at that. The Pokemon Village. Oh, damn. Everybody's noticing and they're running away. You know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a secret, you know. Most of the people or Pokemon are, are runaways escape from bad people who did awful things with them. It's a shame how many tra heartless trainers you who can't bother to care for their Pokemon are out there. Some of these Pokemon, though, some of them are too strong and they found uh, that they couldn't have a place in, uh, in the outside world. So they came here. Hmm, I see. Your Pokemon sure seem uh, think highly of you. You had a you had some good times together, haven't you? Mm. Hey, you can all come out now. Okay. Okay. So look at that. Sometimes I get worried uh, and come here to check on everybody. Oh, excuse my manners. We haven't ha we haven't even had a proper introduction yet. My name is Wolfric. I'm usually over the, the at the gym at Snowbell City since I'm the gym leader and, uh, and all. Let me guess. You want to challenge me? Yes. I thought so. Sorry to the inconvenience you like this. I'll be waiting for you back at the gym then. Before you come by, I think it would be good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Huh. You don't say. Alright. Bluff. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Oh, this Pokemon has something in his mouth and we got ourselves a Chipotle Berry. A Chipotle Berry. Bluff. Okay. Anybody else have some stuff? Ah, yes. Get a pretty wing from this Pokemon. Alrighty. And then... Hua. I think that's a female version. And... Hua. So, let's... We're just gonna take a small tour of this place right here. And again, sorry for the lagginess, guys. It's, uh... I don't know what's going on with my internet right now. But as you can see, there's an area right here that is being covered. There is a specific Pokemon you can actually find in that place eventually after you defeat the gym... Or after you, uh, defeat the Elite Four. And here is a Snorlax. You cannot capture this guy. He's just, uh, sleeping. And, well, look at this place. It's just like a fun place right here. It's pretty nice fun place that you can actually go to and 
Well, there's nothing in here. Usually you'll have a Pokemon attack you. And... Oh, well. Oh, there's something in here. And we get attacked by a Mental Harp. Okay. So there's nothing right there. And, well... There is one little thing that we can actually find right here. Now that we... Uh, well, now that we have the Waterfall attack... So like I said guys, you can't go you can't go into the cave just yet because you haven't defeated the Elite Four. Here we found a pixie plate. Definitely necessary for us. And well, let's go right here. And yeah, eventually I'm gonna be switching up uh I'm gonna switch up some uh I or not items, but moves for some Pokemon right here. So let's go and grab that waterfall right here. And the only Pokemon that can actually learn it it's a uh, Kakashi Hitake. So, let's see. Kakashi Hitake, let's go ahead. You know him, you'll love him. Teach him Waterfall for the time. And uh, it has Smackdown. Now, it will actually have three HM moves. Off screen, I will be reteaching him some different moves, deleting Pokemon moves, and all that crud. I just need this guy for just like a few HMs, and that's it. So, there it is. Waterfall has been given. And now, let's go straight. Oh, crud. Really? Shauna said we don't need the badge, and now... Oh, crud. Never mind. She lied to me. Well, shame on me for believing on a girl right there. Oh, crud. Okay, so there is an item close by here that I need to grab. And here we found ourselves a full restore. Definitely something that we need right there. Okay, so... I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. Uh, well... Let's go back to this guy right here. We officially visited every single location here in Kalos. So, yeah, that's how close that's how close we are to finishing up this whole walkthrough right here, guys. I'm very excited about it. So, here we are, Snowbell City. That was it, guys. In the next episode, we will be taking on Wolfric for our final badge. From there, the beginning of the end just comes. I know, guys. He spent some quality time here in his, uh, his walkthrough, but it it's almost time. So thank you guys once again. I will see you guys next time.